And you mentioned now Ethereum and Bitcoin. Uh, a lot of people, especially with EIP fifteen fifty nine, they uh, they talk about the flipping, meaning Ethereum will have a higher market cap than Bitcoin. Do you think uh, Ethereum will flip Bitcoin anytime soon, or what? Do you, what is your perspective on this? So yeah, I think it will eventually. I don't think it's going to be pretty though. I think everyone like cheering on the flipping while it's like an exciting thing to do. And I'm of course more aligned with Ethereum than Bitcoin. It seems like it inherently, like intuitively, it seems like it would be a messy thing if like tomorrow the market cap of Ethereum outpaced Bitcoins. Like it would just be a shock to the entire space. Even people that have never bought any cryptocurrency are just mm -hmm. going to see that and be very confused. Um, most people I think in this world think Bitcoin is like the gold standard of cryptocurrency. So if that's no longer the gold standard, does that just mean like we can't trust any of these assets? Like mm -hmm. can a pump and dump like Doge outpace Ethereum and Bitcoin now if Ethereum just beat Bitcoin? But mm -hmm. I think in the long run, it's probably a safe bet. I mean, I think Bitcoin will always have a place. It's the first, there's a great community behind it or a passionate community about it. Um, there's a fixed supply cap, which is exciting to a lot of people. Um, and just a lot of adoption, like we now see countries adopt Bitcoin. Um, so I think Bitcoin will always be there, but I think if Ethereum and DeFi in particular reaches the goals there, which is to become the settlement in, settlement layer for the world and like an economic base layer for the world. And if DeFi becomes a big thing, I mean, it just makes sense that um, mm -hmm. the, the market cap of Ethereum would be higher than Bitcoins. Um, mm -hmm. I'd have to check what the market cap is now, but I think we could look up the actual price of ETH, the market cap of ETH, but I think Ethereum's market cap is lower than PayPal's right now, but Ethereum settles more transactions than PayPal much more. And, and there's so much innovation happening on, happening on Ethereum. There's so many really exciting apps and services and products, insurance and NFTs that um, I could make the case that Ethereum's undervalued right now. And, and I think that could perhaps make it worth more than Bitcoin. So we'll see. Um, I think the market will figure it out eventually. Time will tell, but uh, it is truly a fascinating time to uh, to be in crypto, DeFi, etc. I mean, so many things that you're saying is being built on this. Uh, every day when I open up my Twitter feed, I marvel at some of the announcements that people and projects are doing uh, and announcing. It's like, okay, holy crap, can you do this now? I mean, it's incredible. <laughs> uh, and I'm sure you you have the same experience with all the different content that you post, uh, reviewing different platforms, etc. It must be hard to keep up almost sometimes. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, I think with the Discord community that we have, like part of my YouTube channel and just like finding the right people on Twitter and having the right people in Discord, I'm, I think, aware of most of the exciting projects. But yeah, to your point, at this point, I think it's impossible to like really have a good grasp on every project that's launching because mm -hmm. it, it feels like every day or there's at least five new projects a week that launch that are like very exciting, which is really exhilarating. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's hard to come up or to keep up with everything. So.